state capitol now where the latest split among state lawmakers is how to fund the state's prison and juvenile justice systems. Capitol Bureau Chief A.J. Bayadpour has stepped out of today's joint finance meeting with what's happening so far. A.J.? Well, the disagreement today mirrors what we've heard throughout this budget process. Democrats say Republicans have removed necessary funding that Governor Evers had included in his proposed budget. As it relates to today's discussion on corrections, Republicans say the increased spending they have committed to is plenty. That includes investing in a treatment diversion program that aims to give help to people dealing with drug addiction. They also tout additional funding for career and technical training inside prisons. Democrats say it's not enough, especially when the GOP budget does not include funding to build a replacement for the embattled Lincoln Hills Youth Prison. This is something that we've invested in in the past and continue to build on. Um, helps with both getting folks into the workforce, which we know is a top priority right now. Together, doing uh, uh, the responsible and, and the, the thing we know we need to do by finally constructing the facility in Metro Milwaukee and closing Lincoln Hills. Also today in joint finance, Republicans moved to extend the state's stewardship program. That allows DNR to buy land for preservation. In that case, though, there is also a break with the governor's budget. And while Governor Evers wanted to extend the stewardship program for another 10 years and commit $70 million to that, Republicans in their budget are proposing to extend the program for four years, committing $32 million. Now, coming up at 6, we'll have more on some of the other areas of disagreement that Democrats hoped would be in the corrections budget that Republicans have taken out. For now, live at the state capitol, A.J. Bayatpour, 27 News.